Hello everybody, it's MMFQ Death, and welcome back to iOS 7. So today in this video, I'm going to take you guys through my top four, yes, four dream board themes available for iOS 7. So now to go ahead and get right into this, let's go ahead and go to settings. Now for this, you're going to one, need to be jailbroken on iOS 7, and two, need to have Winterboard installed via Cydia. So if you don't already have the that done then go ahead and go into Cydia and make sure to install Winterboard. Now we're going to start off in order. So in order I think my least favorite out of all of these themes is probably Soft, soft Remix and now to say my least favorite that does not mean it is not a good theme it just means that it is out of the four that I found the best that I liked the most this is my least favorite and I would probably myself personally not use it every day on my device but it is nice to have um, in case another theme isn't updated or doesn't support certain icons and I know that everybody's taste is definitely not the same as mine so you guys may really like this theme okay so here we are back in iOS and now that my phone has resprung here is the theme soft remix so what it does is it kind of takes all of the iOS icons, even the ones that it does not support, and shrinks them down to a universal size and shape, uh, similar to this, which I really like. I think it's a really nice touch um, that it does that, and I just think it looks personally really good, especially for icons that aren't supported, so you don't have to really worry about icons not being supported by the theme because it changes the universal size and shape, and it all just kind of flows together very nicely. Um, now, like I said, I personally wouldn't use this theme, but I do see why people would like it because it is a very well-made theme, and I definitely want to give my props to the developer. You did a fantastic job on making this. It, it really is a great theme. Do not take it to heart that it is not my personal favorite. I am just not a style. Like, I'm not a fan of that style. So now the next one is Icon for uh, iOS 7. Now, this theme is also available for iOS 5 and 6 in a separate uh, download through Cydia, but it is available. So I'm going to install the springboard, the status bar, and the dock, but not messages because I use Byte SMS, so it would not end up showing in messages anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and respring, and as soon as that is done, we will be back to check out the icon theme. Okay, you guys, so now we are back, and this is the icon theme. Now, this is a little bit more to the iOS 6 style of things uh, in the way that the icons are more 3D and rounded in a sort of fashion, but it is a remarkably high-definition retina theme. It looks amazing on my iPhone screen, and again, it changes the universal size and shape of all of the icons so that they all match. Uh, even if not supported and it really does look amazing. Um, I really like how the theme looks It's just a really beautiful theme uh, Like I said really high definition supports all of your apps. I don't really know what it does for changing your uh, Status bar because it doesn't really look any different to me, but the dock does look nice But again, it's a more iOS 6 styled theme. So it looks more towards the iOS 6 styling of things um, and in case you guys are wondering, I forgot to mention before, the drop shadow in the background is actually from a tweak in Cydia called Glowcon, not from any of these themes. So let's go ahead and go back into settings and check out the third theme that we're going to be talking about. So let's go ahead and untick those. And now click on Flat 7. Now, Flat 7 was the theme that I personally used uh, until I found my top one theme. Uh, but this is the one that I used probably the most um, so it it has round icon square icons hexagon icon masks and the regular icons I'm going to use the regular icons because I feel like it's the most true and the reason why I find this theme so remarkable is with iOS 6 uh, some icons for the longest time just didn't update to the new style and look of iOS 6 from previous devices um, and the same can be said about iOS 7. A lot of older apps still have iOS 6 styled icons with that style gradient and such like that. And I just don't really like that. So Flat 7 takes that out and makes all of the icons remarkably high definition. Um, they're all really flat styled. They don't really have the iOS gradient anymore, the iOS 7 gradient, but they do all, they're all flat unless not supported, obviously. 
but the ones that are supported, which in these later pages, you can't really tell that much except for like iFile and uh, Vine and Alien Blue. Um, but on the first page, you can really tell how similar all of the apps are because all of these are themed because they're all supported and it looks just absolutely fantastic. I had no problem using this theme on my phone all the time. I thought it looked great, amazing theme, and thank you very much to the developer uh, for developing this. This is honestly one of my favorite themes uh, for iOS 7 on Cydia. So now let's go back and let's get to my all-time favorite theme uh, that is even possible. I, I This developer, first off, I also wanted to give him a heads up. And by the way, this did not influence my decision whatsoever. But he did give me this theme for free. It's called Obscure 7 spelled with a zero. Um, it did not influence my decision that he gave it to me for free. Uh, because some of the other free themes are free. Like Flat 7, for instance. Uh, but it is just an absolutely amazing theme. It fits my personal um, opinion of iOS. And it goes together with two of the other tweaks that I have installed via Cydia, and I will showcase those along with the theme to give you the best possible look at it. So this is Obscure 7. It turns all of your icons this flat black, uh, slightly transparent near the bottom, and it just, it looks amazing. And obviously certain icons aren't supported, uh, but they do carry over with the transparency, which you can see on the Gaiazo app and the iFunny app. You can kind of see, um, like my background from behind them. So it does transfer over to icons even if they're not supported, but it looks so amazing. The detail that he put in to these icons just for being black and white and so simplistic just really looks amazing. Um, and thank you, the dev student, which is the developer. You guys can check him out on Twitter. Uh, he is a really cool guy. Um, but let's go ahead and show the other two tweaks that I feel go so amazing with this. So one of them is called Eclipse, and you can enable it like this, darken wallpapers a little bit. Um, I don't want to darken UI views because that can cause a little bit of issues, so let's go ahead and do that. And the other one is Glowcon, and like I said, um, you probably already saw that I had it on in the background, but it has a black glow effect that goes out behind the icons. So let me go ahead and just respring this real quick and I will be back to show you guys my finished customized iPhone 4S running iOS 7 with my favorite theme and two of my favorite tweaks that fit along with it perfectly. Now hello you guys and welcome back to iOS 7. Not just any normal iOS 7 but my perfect customized iOS 7. So as you guys can see the flat simplistic icons that was made by the dev student for this amazingly remarkable theme honestly like i said my favorite theme that i've seen to date on ios 7 with the slight drop shadow-esque uh look of glowcon and then are you ready for the creme de la creme which basically means the best of the best open up settings and it turns the ios 7 ui and not just in settings but in pretty much any application out there it turns all of the normally white UI to be this dark black color and it works in other applications like Skype as well so let's go ahead and open this up um, the darkened UI views would turn like where it says no chats open to be black but sometimes it messes up with uh, text and font colors and stuff like that so let's go ahead and go into the community chat and you guys can see um, it is a white background but the top bars are black and you can set this to be black this uh, white part down here but it will not work the same way uh it'll look a little sketchy but back to the theme just a great job on the theme honestly man you you've outdone yourself this looks fantastic uh and he does take requests on icons that he does not support so you guys can go ahead and tweet those to him or email them to him and he will work his best to get them updated um and i just honestly it looks incredible and I think every one of these themes that made the list, you guys should all go check them out in the description below because they're equally fantastic. Um, but definitely, definitely, if you're a fan of darker stuff, then definitely go check this Glowcon and Eclipse out. Um, all links will be shown in the video for the repository and the name to search on Cydia because I cannot, for the life of me, figure out how to get the Cydia links. Uh, but 
I will um, try my best to get that sorted out. But anyways, you guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like down below. Don't forget to go check out the developers that make these awesome themes. And look at that new activity on my video, How to Animate Minecraft, up in the top. Anyways, you guys, thank you all for watching. It's been MMFQDeath, and peace.